Hello everybody and welcome to a very special, special birthday, birthday video, video for Katie Cisneros. Yes. Okay, so uh, as a very special birthday treat, we're having story time especially for and about Katie Cisneros. Yay, Katie loves story time. <laughs> no, not, not that Katie, oh. for birthday Katie. Okay. And we're going to read uh, this book, which is called Mr. Katie Cisneros. Ooh. Okay. Howard's going to help me with some of the character voices, aren't you? Yes. All right, here we go. Mr. Katie Cisneros was quite the cleverest person ever. The cleverest person in the world. And... She knew it. Oh, look at me. I'm so flim flangling clever, <laughs> I used to say. <laughs> he, no, no, I do the, I do the, I do the description. Okay, that's yeah. That's not part of the, let's see, when the, oh, when the speech right. mark ends, that, that's where you stop. All right? Oh, I'm sorry. So, 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 I can't be that clever then, can I? <laughs> Unfortunately, Mr. Katie Cisneros was being played by a moron. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so very, very clever. He, look, at, uh, <laughs> look at my doctorate. <laughs> She used to say... I did a dissertation. But, you know... I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know what what is. <laughs> she used to say it to herself, more often than not, in the mirror. Look, OK. Oh, look at me in the mirror. Oh, she... oh lovely. I can check out my amazing ink that I got, Dad. You got ink? Yeah. You got look... a tattoo? Yeah, look at that. Oh, no. What you're... do you think about... I think, I think you might have misspelt tattoo, Mr. Katie Cisneros. Oh, no. You, what you got is a twattoo. Oh. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, what a, what a joke, <laughs> what a terrible joke. All right, that's going to be on his skin for about a week now. <laughs> but yours will be there forever. So who's the cleverest person now? <laughs> All right, so Mr. Katie Cisneros lived in America, where, as you may know, everybody and everything is as clever as can be. Bigly um, so. Yeah, I think we all know that from recent... Events that we've all read and seen about. Yeah. In America, clever trees manage to grow apples and oranges at the same time. They're the oh. best trees. Oh. The best apples and the best oranges being grown in the best trees. Oh, no, genetically modified. <laughs> Modif yeah, genetically modified trees. Genetically modified, modified trees. Modified trees. Yeah. In America, clever flowers get up and go for a walk. Oh, fucking hell, Triffids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. that's not good. That's not, that's not clever. That's, that's terrible. terrifying. Yeah. yeah. Um, Clever worms <laughs> drive around in cars all day because they're not happy just having one car for each human, uh -huh. are they? No, they go. Oh, let's get let's get the worms well, some I'll cars worms as well. We'll cars, really fuck yeah. the environment. Yeah, just fill them up with some gasoline. <laughs> get the gasoline in those worm cars. Yeah, yeah. None of that fucking hybrid I shit. I got confused. I filled it with actual gas and it exploded. Oh no! Uh, and clever elephants. Play tennis. What? Why? <laughs> what? Why? How is that clever? That's how is how is ability to play tennis a, like a judgment of how clever you are? Oh, no, like, it's, it's, I can play tennis. It yeah. doesn't make me clever. I mean, be really, really good at tennis. That's probably kind of clever, but I mean, it's still not. This is a skill, though, isn't it? I mean, you know, you've got, you got, you got to use your brain to know whether to go left or right when a ball's coming at you, <laughs> don't you? Oh, yes. America. And I, Katie Sassinos, know all about balls coming at me. Because <laughs> i got a new boyfriend. <laughs> and his balls are always coming at me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Happy birthday, me. <laughs> anyway, skip that bit, skip that bit. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, America is quite the most clever place. Would you like to live there? Oh, yeah. Mr. Katie Cisneros does. Oh, oh I'm so very, very clever. Oh, I, I'm so what? I'm so very, very clever to build such a clever house. She used oh, to, go, used to around go around telling, telling everybody, everybody there's a clever house, yeah. yeah. That's okay. a fucking stupid house. <laughs> That's not clever. It's going to fall apart. She said. Well, imagine like, if you get quakes in America, if you get a quake, hit. Yeah, yeah. That's coming straight it's down. Coming straight down. All right. One morning, Mr. Katie Cisneros was awoke, awakened by her special Mr. Katie Cisneros alarm clock. Oh, fucking hell. Not only did it wake you up by ringing a bell, oh, yeah. it also switched on a light oh, and said good morning and made a cup of tea and yeah. showed what the weather was going to be and told you the time and showed you the date. And it, got his penis out. Yeah, it, was a, <laughs> it was a smartphone. Basically, it was just a, it's a weird looking smartphone. I oh, went uh, to work for you. Did, oh, no, yeah, work for went, you? did your job, yeah. yeah. It turned into a robot and then travelled back in time and killed your mum. Yeah, if you rubbed it, genies came out. 
<laughs> Kevin Gold. Yeah, if you built it, um, he came. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner came. Yeah, that's what that film's about. If you build it, Kevin Costner. Oh will no, come. Kevin Costner yeah. keeps turning uh, up. Oh no, it turned out at the end that the, the alarm clock was a ghost oh. all along. Oh my god! And it was in the present, oh. not the past. And spooky wind. <laughs> Oh, spooky wind, man. Uh, it also whistled cheerfully while it was doing all those things we just said. Oh, la, 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 that's, not, that's not whistling. La, 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 la. I wouldn't know, would I? I'm not, not like I'm the cleverest person in the world or anything. Mr. Katie Cisneros yawned, <laughs> got up, washed, cleaned her teeth, with her special Mr. Katie Cisneros toothbrush, which squeezed toothpaste onto the Washing. brush out of the handle. <laughs> yeah. And then she went downstairs for breakfast. She popped a slice dingo of bread. Dingo on toast. I reckon dingo. Yeah, baby on toast. Baby. She popped a slice of bread into her special Mr. Katie Mouth. Cisneros. <laughs> <laughs> mouth. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not fast. My mouth's so hot, I can cack bread. Yeah, and the weird thing about her special Mr. Casey's sister Eros mouth is that it not only toasted the bread, yeah. but also spread it with butter and marmalade and cut off the crusts. And oh. probably, and then ate it, probably. After breakfast, uh, she went for a long walk. An extremely long walk. In fact, such a long walk oh, yeah. that she walked all the way out of America, although what? she didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> Crossed the Canadian border, or not walked put... into Mexico and just didn't even realise. Oh, they've not put that wall up yet. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. That's why they need or it. Or I can walk st- through walls. I'm yeah. so clever. Now, they need a wall to stop uh, geniuses like Casey <laughs> Snow's accidentally walking to Mexico. Yeah. Anyway, she met somebody... Who was also out for a walk? Oh. Do you know who it was? Yeah. Uh, oh, um, you're, you're, you're going to have to play another character now. Do you, can you do two characters at the same no. time? Hi, blokes, it's me, Katie Snisneers Nose, uh, said M- Mr. Katie Snisneers Nose. Um, anyway, so what happened? <laughs> she, she met somebody who was also out for a walk. Do you know who it was? Do you know? That's right. Mr. Fluck. Hello, here I am, Mr. Fluck. Mr. Fluck, coming in your story, coming in your story. What's he doing in your story? Hello. Hello, hello. Cried Mr. Katie Cisneros. Oh, I'm the cleverest person in the world. Oh, oh, God. Oh, very God, said Mr. Fluck. What a God bit of information. <laughs> to be important to Mr. Flack. Reiterated Mr. Flack. I could, I could pat you on my shelf next to my stupidest person. <laughs> I, I'm collecting them all. You I've not be, got any be, yet. You could be buckends. <laughs> yeah, buckends. Yeah. <laughs> I could stick some bucks in between you. Would you like that? Oh dear. Mr. Flack had got distracted and derailed the story. Oh, is that? Oh. <laughs> Oh, God, I was lucky to find a really clever person because that must mean that you must be clever enough to make up a really God joke to tell me, Mr N- Fluck. Mr Fluck laughed. <laughs> Mr Fluck continued to laugh. <laughs> Mr Fluck laughed some more. <laughs> Mr. Fluck did a little dance. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Fluck did a chicken impression. I'm a little chicken. I'm a little chicken. Mr. Fluck pretended that his his hand had exploded. Wrong. <laughs> 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 Mr. Fluck did a Sean Connery impression. Would you like to see my car? Mr. Fluck go in space. Mr. Fluck took his trousers off. And then put them back on again. All right, and he laughed. Little bit of a little bit of a skin mark there. He laughed and then and then said. Jokes make me happy, he explained. Mr. Katie Cisneros' face fell. Oh, no, your face has come off. Oh, no, my face is on the floor. That's a fucking robot. Have you got got any glue? Oh, yes, of course I... Glue my face back on. Okay. Once Mr. Katie Cisneros had glued her face back on... (laughs) With 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 a duck. (laughs) (laughs) With Mr. Fuck and a duck's help... (laughs) Yeah, uh, 
she admitted, I don't know any jokes. Uh, sorry, fucking clever, is he? <laughs> fucking moron. Uh, <laughs> Said only, Mr. Flux. Only morons don't know any jokes. Uh, clever people know lots of jokes like me. I explained know, Mr. Flux. I know all about jokes. Only clever you. people know jokes. I know at least three jokes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Can you tell us joke number one, Mr. Flux? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> What, what, yeah, give me a, any subjects you like. Uh, lamps. Okay. What'd you get? If a lamp. <laughs> I don't know what you get if a lamp. Oh uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right. Joke, joke number two. Who knew? Joke number two. Yeah, joke number two. All about number twos. All right. Yeah. yeah. What is it? Whoa. Whoa. Well, someone. That's a little. There's this dog, right? Yeah, yeah. And he's going for a walk. He's going for a walk. Yeah. I just go walk. Oh, oh, here I am, oh, walking down the street. Oh, I'm a dog. Having yeah, a little walk okay, down the yeah. street. Oh no, I need to go for a toilet. <laughs> um, does one, and then like a person picks it up, and that's yeah. a joke, isn't it? No, that's disgusting. That's... Right, I mean, I mean, that person might go blind. If I, if, if, um, you know, if I was ever to have a pet, I'd expect it to pick my shit up, not the other way around. You hop, get a little furry slave. <laughs> I'm a furry slave. You know, pick it shit up, does you? You get here. Come here, dog. Pick my shit up. That's all I want. Okay, and joke number three uh, wh- about pigs, please. Wh- wh- why did the pig? You're a pig expert, right? Wh- 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 I'm sorry, I'm okay. a pig expert. I know everything there is to know about pigs, as long as you want to know what colour they are. <laughs> what colour are they? Blue. <laughs> Okay, good joke, <laughs> Mr. Plug. All right, and having told his three jokes, <laughs> jokes, Mr. Flock <laughs> went away. Ah, no, la, no. la 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 la, I'm, I'm, I'm over here. <laughs> I'm, really, I'm not really gone, I'm still here. Like. <laughs> Mr. Katie Cisneros went on. And do you know who she met next? Oh, uh, yeah, is it me again? No, it's not Mr. Flock. You're going to blow my moustache up, hold on. <laughs> Oh, it's still on. <laughs> Are you enjoying this, Katie? I'm blowing <laughs> Happy my... Happy birthday, Snort! I was blowing my Katie Sassoonos. <laughs> uh, oh, hi! Oh, oh, hello, Howard. It's Howard! Well, you'll who never is... believe who Mr Katie Cisneros bumped into next on her, uh, her walk. Who? Oh, right. That's what? right. Mr Gret Binchleaf. Mr. Gret Binchley. Crime! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. What does Gret Binchley sound like? Um, I'll tell you what I think. I'll tell you what I think. I think pies I think... come out of faces sometimes. You can, you, if you, you, can, you can take the birthday out of a girl, but you can't take a girl out of a... <laughs> said, said Gret, Gret Binchley. Binchley. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hello! cried Mr. Katie Cisneros. I'm the cleverest person in the world! Fuck off! <laughs> said Mr. Gret Binchley. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh good. Said Mr. Greb Yeah, And you can tell me the recipe of the world's most delicious dish. He... And I don't mean a fucking bowl. I don't want to eat a bowl. <laughs> I mean the stuff you put in it. <laughs> I.e. chips. How do you make chips? He licked his lips. Oh, old old scabs is coming off. Oh, oh. I, he... like, I like food. He said. I like food. Mr. Katie Cisneros' face fell oh, off fucking again. Oh, fucking Your face has come off. And, uh, uh, oh, have you got any sellotape? Uh, Mr. Flug helped me quite well. Can you nail Can you nail my face back on, yeah. maybe? Clung, clung, clung. Okay, thank clung. you, Mr. Gred Binchleaf. But I've got some bad news for you. Uh, I don't like bad news. Well, do you want the bad news or the bad news first? Give me the medium news. No, there's no medium news. Regular it's all news. Bad, bad news. Okay. The bad news is I can't cook. What? She admitted. What? And I don't know any recipes, and I don't know what food is. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I'm a genius. <laughs> I've never even seen a chip. I don't know what it is. I mean, I am a bit confused, because in America, yeah. what you call chips, we call sausages. Okay, yeah, I've heard about this. Something like that, anyway. We just call random things chips. Yesterday, I got into my chip, and I drove to the chip, and bought myself three chips. And that's why they call it the United States of a moron. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, no, it's you. Cleverland. Cleverland. And I can't cook and I don't know any recipes. Okay, well, that's not very clever of you, is it? Said Mr. Greedy and went off. <laughs> firstly. <laughs> firstly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, firstly, uh, let me explain how this works one more time, all right? <laughs> I read the prose, right? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The, like the bit that says, said Mr. Greedy. And also, my brain works quick enough to change Mr. Greedy to Mr. Gret Binchley. Yeah, Mr. Gret Binchley. Mr. Gret Binchley. So let's do that line again. Let's see if we can get it right this time. Well, that's very clever of you, is it, said Mr. Gret Benchlevy. <laughs> and walked and, off. And went off. 
in search of food. Chips, chips, chips. Come in for me, chips. Come, come in for me, chips. Come in for me, chips. <laughs> Mr. Katie Cisneros went on, and who do you think she met next? Oh, God. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yes. Oh, shit. Yes, that is correct. Mr. Tom Baker, Doctor Who. Oh, oh, yes, here I am, visiting Canada. <laughs> oh, what am I doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Well, Daleks, probably. What? <laughs> doing, doing Daleks, yes. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Hello, cried there. Mr. Katie Cisneros. Hello, Katie Cisneros. I'm the cleverest oh. person in the universe. What? Yeah. The universe? No, that can't be true. Yeah, it's well, true, mate. I, 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 I know. I, I know, know, I know well, how many milk there are. Yes, there's three. <laughs> well, no. And I can explain milk gravity to you if you like. No, no, no. Some, I some plants have milk gravity, so the cows don't float away. Yes. But if you go to a non-milk gravity planet, you have all, to nail all them the down. The cows can fly. You have to nail the cows down. <laughs> nail them down with guns. <laughs> Bang, bang, bang. Oh, oh I've nailed you. Yes, yeah. and that's how, that's how you get the milk out as well, of course. <laughs> Those tiny holes on their tits, they're not big enough to get enough milk out for Tom Baker. He's got to shoot the milk out of cows. <laughs> yes. Anyway, I'm, I'm the cleverest person in the world. No, no, that's not true, of course. My sister... Your sister? Yes, but do Doroid Dandafar. Doroid Dandafar? Yes, she's so very clever. I have heard oh. about your brother. Yes. Apparently he's very brave. Oh, oh so brave. Like, yes, once he ate a whole sandwich. A whole sandwich? Yes, and did not worry about heartburn or getting a, a bit weight on. <laughs> He was not worried about he getting a bit weight he on. He didn't worry about getting a bit weight on. No, no, he never. Because oh, well, he's not he scared brave. of anything. Whereas when Tom Becker Doctor Who has a sandwich, he only eats half a sandwich because he's like, oh no, what if a Dalek wants to run after me? <laughs> Dalek's coming after him like this, going, I'm going to get you, Tom Becker. And then, well, I can get away from only eating half a sandwich. Okay, so. Uh, and then. Mr. Tom Baker, Doctor Who, asked... OK, so if you're the cleverest person in the universe, more cleverer than my sister, Dodo Dandafar, you can't tell me oh, what my name is. Oh, what's my name? He smiled apologetically. Well... <laughs> oh. And said... Oh, I have forgotten what my name is. It's not surprising you go around saying your name's Doctor Who all Yes, the time. that's it, Doctor Who. Doctor Who's not a name, it's a oh. question. Basically, he's like saying, Hi, my name's, what is my name? But yes. I'm a doctor, by the way. Anyway, what if you? What if I tell you your name, but you can't pronounce it? <laughs> Tom, what, Tom Baker, Doctor Who. If, if you can guess it, then I get your baby, I think. I think that's how <laughs> it goes. Okay. Yes. Mr. Katie Cisneros' face fell off for the third time that morning. Ah, oh, oh, no. androids from the adventure of Doctor Who and the android invasion, probably. <laughs> no, I'm not an android. Okay. Look, I've got a bony skull face. Could oh. you help me put my face back on, maybe with your sonic screwdriver? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Thanks, Tom Baker, Doctor Who. Yes. But I've got some bad news for you. Oh. I don't know Is your it name. Daleks? No, it's not Daleks. Okay. It's not that bad. I don't know your name. It's Davros. Hello, <laughs> pleased to meet you. Yes. Why don't you ask me your name if you know it? But uh, you know, we've only just met. I don't know your name. Right, yes. But I know your name, though. What's my name? Mr. Clever. No, no, that's no, it's, <laughs> it's not. That's not my name. Okay. It's Mr. Katie Cisneros. Mr. Katie Cisneros. So you don't know. Well, perhaps that's you my name as well. Never said my name correctly. <laughs> when? Ever. <laughs> Not once. I think it's very clear you don't know my name, Tom Baker, Doctor Who. Well, if anybody knows, Katie Cicero knows. knows. <laughs> she knows, knows my name. If anybody knows, Katie Cicero knows. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, and Mr. Tom Baker, Doctor Who also left. Forgetting, <laughs> forgetting to say goodbye. <laughs> oh, Bye-bye, oh, Dagan. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my travelling duck, my magic duck, <laughs> time and relative duck in space. <laughs> and so it went on, all day. Mr Katie Cisneros couldn't tell Mr Sneeze the cure for a cold, and he couldn't tell Mr Small how he could grow bigger, and nah, he couldn't tell Mr rubbish. Jelly what the secret of being brave was, because only Buckroy Dunderfar knew knows. the answer to that question, and he couldn't tell Mr Topsy Turvy to talk the... Oh shit! To how to talk the round way right? Okay. I mean the right way round. A not very clever day. Not at all. Not a bit. Ah, uh, are you a fucking moron? <laughs> yes, you are. Who's <laughs> a fucking moron? Katie's a sad horses. <laughs> 
It's supposed to be our birthday. It'd be nice. Be oh, nice. Happy, happy birthday, <laughs> fucking moron. I don't know how to tell people what a head is. <laughs> oh, someone asked me what's a head. I was like, I don't know what a head is. Because I'm a fucking moron. What are you writing now? Oh, what are you writing? Lots of head is. on <laughs> And by now... Uh, Bye. No, no, okay. Switch it off. By now, no, 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 just switch it off. By now, Katie, Mr. Katie Cicero knows. <laughs> You've taught me to say that now. She's, Wasn't she's, she's got a famous like royal nose? It's been knighted. Is that what that is? Sir <laughs> nose, yeah. Sir nose. Uh, at, by now, she wasn't feeling anything like the cleverest person. And in her the brother, world. Katie, says his nose. <laughs> oh dear. So, uh, Mr. Katie Cicero um, decided she'd better go home back to America. Yeah, where, she would, where, where she'd instantly become far more intelligent <laughs> because everyone in there is really, really stupid. Oh, no, no, you didn't say it. That's not true. But she had gone to Mexico where You've they're all geniuses. Katie Cicero hair on you. <laughs> Cis hair nose. Yeah, she, so basically she's crossed the border into Mexico, found out found she's really, she's really dumb Mexicans are really clever. Else, and now she's, she's gone, gone back, back to... Home, yeah. yeah, OK. Yeah. Uh, she passed a pair of worms <laughs> who were having a chat. Hello, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, nice. Uh, all right there. Uh, oh, Abla, 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 Yours, 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 oh, yours. No, what's, uh, what's, what's oh. that then? What's oh. that then? Asked one worm. One worm. Uh, uh, that. One worm. That's my name, of course. <laughs> one worm. <laughs> that replied the Pablo, other that's pa- worm. Pablo worm. Yeah. That is uh, Mr. Katie Cisneros, oh, the uh, the cleverest person in the world, on her way home to uh, America. Oh, hello. Hello, hello there. The oh. first worm had a little think oh, with hello. his brain. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what, though. Uh, that Katie Cicernos, Mr. Katie Cicernos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, uh, about, what about him? He, he, he can't be a himmer, can't be. Himmer can't be that. Sham, sham, sham. Sham, sham, sham can't, can't be that clever. Sham can't be that clever. Oh, why is that? Why is why that? Is that? Why I'll, is that? I'll tell you why, Bruce. Because, uh He's going the wrong way. Oh no, she's going the wrong way. How do you go the wrong way to a country? Surely it's in every direction, isn't it? Oh no, no, no. Not if you're going to go, not if you're not if you're not if you're in a rocket, any. Going in to space. Rocket, and he's, oh, she's and going on his way space. to the space. Oh, Kate, Mr. Katie Cisneros went to space and That's died. How stupid, <laughs> Katie yeah. Cisneros is. She blew up in space in a rocket. <laughs> blew up in space and died. Oh, was oh, oh, a tragedy. Tra- was trying to walk somewhere. Thought it was going to be a nice little children's story. It turned out to be a tragedy. Oh, tragedy. No. Everyone died at the end, and then the the bits of the spaceship fell to earth and landed on everyone's head, and we all died as well. Oh yeah. What a shame. What a shame. we have a problem. Uh, and the problem is Katie. <laughs> Katie's, Katie's in space, blowing uh-huh. up rockets. Yeah. What are you oh. doing that for? Oh, stop doing that, stop doing that. I don't want to do that. Well, thank you very much for joining us at this very special uh, story N- time. N- scene. A story time with Mr. Katie's Nettles. Bye. Bye. Happy birthday, Katie. Bye. Happy birthday. Bye-bye, Bye. Bye. Dagan. Goodbye.